Hi friends, Matt Carter here from Harding School of Theology. I'm the Director of Admissions. Joining me today is Dr. Mark Powell, who teaches theology and church history. Today we want to give you just an overview of the master's degrees offered here at Harding School of Theology. Let's jump right in. The first degree we want to talk about is the Master of Arts, or the Academic MA. Tell us a little bit about that degree, Dr. Powell. Yeah, so the MA is a 48-hour degree, or two years of full-time study. And uh, the focus of the coursework is more uh, courses in New Testament, Old Testament, uh, Christian theology, historical theology, or church history. You're not going to take classes in practical ministry, let's say preaching or counseling or missions. So the focus is more uh, the academic study of the Bible or the Christian faith. Uh, the degree includes a capstone project, either a thesis or a guided research paper. But this is a, a major academic project that um, should be kept in mind if you're interested in the MA. What kind of career would that prepare you for? What would be your, your next step? So those in the MA typically are, are interested perhaps in doing further academic work. And we'll see there's several options here, but this is one option for students who want to do further academic work. Sometimes we just have students who are really interested in the academic study of Scripture or the, the Christian faith. And that's what they want to focus on. They're not here to take classes uh, for the practice of ministry. So uh, anyone uh, who's just interested in the academic side of what we do here, especially the study of Scripture, study of Christian theology, this is a perfect degree for those persons. And you will write research papers in all of our degrees, but that guided research or thesis is a major uh, piece of academic research. second degree we want to talk about is the Master of Arts in Christian Ministry, or the MACN. Tell us about that degree. So this degree in a lot of ways is gonna be the opposite of the academic MA. It's also 48 hours, and you're going to have classes in the study of scripture, Christian theology, but the focus really is more on the, the practical classes, the ministry classes. So you'll do work in counseling, or in leadership, or in missions, or, or multicultural ministry. So uh, you're taking more hours in these ministry classes. One thing to keep in mind, the MACM does not require the biblical languages. You can take them if you want, but it's not required. And so some students find that to be an attractive feature of this degree. And this would be a good degree for someone in some specialized form of ministry, perhaps children's ministry, youth ministry, working in somewhere in the nonprofit sector. Not really a degree that we would, would say is preparing you for a lifetime of, of ministry and preaching. The third degree the, that we offer, the master's degree, is the Master of Divinity, or the MDiv. This is kind of the Cadillac of graduate theological education. It is the most common degree, and it's the most common uh, degree that we offer as well. Can you give us an overview of the MDiv? Yeah, so the MDiv really combines the strengths of the MA and the MACM, and you see that on the number of hours that are required, 40, uh, 78 hours or three years of full-time study. The great thing about the MDiv, though, and we have students uh, from time to time, and I was like this as a student, man, you love everything, right? So you get to take classes in New Testament. You get to take classes in, in uh, Old Testament. You take classes in Greek and Hebrew. You study the languages. You study church history. You study Christian theology. You get to study preaching, study counseling, study leadership. So it really combines the strengths of the other two degrees uh, in terms of uh, the academic study of Scripture and the Christian faith, but also the academic study of practice of the Christian faith. Uh, both of those are combined in this degree. So it's a very broad and, and deep degree. Who do you recommend look at the Master of Divinity? Well, people who see themselves being engaged in a lifetime of ministry, I think this really prepares you uh, both for what you're doing now and maybe what you'll be doing in the future that uh, you may not even can dream of now. But then also those who are interested in the academic study of religion might want to go on and do a PhD. Uh, this degree also will prepare you uh, like the MA. And in fact, some schools prefer an MA, some an MDiv, but both degrees are, are well respected. And, um, and, and Master of Divinity, again, will prepare you for a lifetime of ministry. But even if you want to go on and do further study, it will prepare you for that as well. The Master of Divinity is also considered a credential in some fields, so if you are looking at military chaplaincy or hospital chaplaincy, the Master of Divinity is a requirement for those roles and can also be viewed as a credential in other areas as well. So again, the Master of Divinity, deep, broad, prepares you for a lifetime of ministry. All of our de master's degrees are available on campus or online. If you're an online student, 
you will have a residency requirement for the MA. In the MACM, you'll come to campus two times for a one week on campus intensive course. In the Master of Divinity, you'll come three times. So three weeks, two weeks or three weeks over the entire course of your degree. Well, I hope you've enjoyed and learned something about our degrees here. Look forward to talking to you next time. See you later.